Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Hiding Hobbits On the island of Flores in Indonesia, a very unusual species of human lived unbothered for about 640,000 years. Up until 60,000 years ago, the Homo floresiensis flourished in the hot and humid jungles of Southeast Asia. Scientists have nicknamed the species Hobbit because it only stood about three and a half feet tall, just over half as tall as modern humans. They also had very small brains and weirdly large feet. But perhaps the most curious part about this species is that scientists can't figure out where they evolved from. The hobbits don't appear to be represented anywhere on our family tree. They seem to have evolved out of nowhere and lived in Indonesia, but they never migrated to the rest of the world. Surprisingly, they might not be entirely gone yet. Gregory Forth, a retired anthropologist from the University of Alberta, believes Homo floresiensis is still alive. Gregory claims our ancient human ancestor didn't go extinct and is hiding in the unpopulated jungles of Indonesia. The island of Flores is about the size of Connecticut, approximately 5,996 square miles. It has a population of 2 million people spread across its lands. There are still some remote parts that are covered in nothing but jungle, but not as many as there used to be. John Hawks from the University of Wisconsin says the chance of a primitive human ancestor sustaining itself secretly in such a populated island is close to zero. In other words, somebody would have spotted a three and a half foot tall hobbit scurrying through the trees. Gregory Forth, on the other hand, is not so pessimistic. Gregory is confident that there is at least a small community of primitive people on Flores. He says they figured out a way to remain out of sight while living off the natural food provided by the jungle. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. Mokele Mbembe Hiding deep in the jungles of the Democratic Republic of the Congo is a dinosaur. At least that's what the legends say. Running free in the swampy marshlands and hidden lakes of the Congo's rural forests is an alleged creature called Mokele Mbembe. Locals say it lives primarily in the Lokuala region, but it's been spotted at multiple bodies of water. It's described as an amphibious creature with a bulky body, a long serpent-like neck, and a small head. The description of the monster matches exactly with the description of a sauropod from the age of the dinosaurs. It goes without saying that dinosaurs are extinct. There hasn't been a sauropod living on our planet for at least 65 million years. And yet, indigenous people from the Western Congo Basin have been talking about the monster for centuries. Their stories seem to suggest a family of sauropods living in complete isolation, deep in one of the most remote jungles on the planet. The theory is that somehow, a single group of dinosaurs has managed to survive all the way into modern times. The jungles of the Congo are so difficult to reach that there have been very few excavations to look for the dinosaur. Researchers Bill Gibbons and Mitchell Ballot have been looking for it for years, traveling between the Congo and Cameroon. But since nobody has ever documented the Mokele Mbembe, some say the creature may have migrated into Gabon. Number 8. Giants of the Rainforest Over 12,000 years ago, South America was home to some of the most marvelous Ice Age beasts you can imagine. There were giant ground sloths as big as a car, and there were huge elephantine herbivores that rampaged through the jungle. There were even weird deer-like creatures with long snouts like anteaters. All of these creatures are now extinct, but not forgotten. In 2022, researchers in the Colombian Amazon rainforest uncovered a giant wall of rock paintings at Serrania de la Lindosa. The paintings show the unimaginable diversity of ancient Amazonia. Turtles, fish, jaguars, porcupines, and extinct giants can all be seen scribbled on the wall. The prehistoric human inhabitants of the rainforest came face to face with these animals and drew pictures of them on the cliff wall in a magnificent mural. The giant beasts depicted here include an extinct camel and an extinct type of horse with a weirdly thick neck. There's also a three-toed hoofed mammal with an elephant trunk. 
researchers were able to connect fossilized skeletons of these creatures to their paintings on the wall. All of the drawings were made with red pigment mined from nearby. But the strange thing is that no bones belonging to the animals were uncovered near the huge wall mural. This suggests they weren't a source of food for the prehistoric people who drew the pictures. It's making researchers wonder what the connection was between the giant beasts of the rainforest and its early human residents. If humans didn't hunt these animals to extinction, then what caused them to suddenly get wiped out? Number 7. Lost Mayan Cities The Maya civilization had a very large presence in what is today the Guatemalan jungle. In 2018, laser scans aimed at the remote Guatemalan wilderness revealed ancient cities that once housed millions more Maya citizens than ever imagined. Archaeologists specializing in digital technology uncovered the ruins of over 60,000 houses and multiple palaces. They also discovered elevated highways cutting through the jungle and other mysterious features that have been hidden for centuries. Nobody ever saw them before because they are buried underneath the forest. They were only revealed using light detection and ranging technology, which involves mapping the terrain with lasers to remove natural obstruction like trees and foliage. Gone are the days you had to hack your way through with a machete. These days, the Guatemalan jungle is desolate. The landscape is unpopulated and has been for roughly 1,000 years. The discovery made by researchers like Thomas Garrison from Ithaca College suggests Central America supported an extremely advanced branch of the Maya civilization, which peaked 1,200 years ago. These people were so advanced that their cultures rivaled those of ancient Greece or China. It's just that everything they made has been eaten by the forest, and so it's been a nightmare for archaeologists to try and piece things together. But by the looks of it, they had complex urban centers connected by artificial roadways like superhighways. There was also an irrigation network to feed millions of people. The next step is for archaeologists to begin excavating these ancient cities. Right now, they are all still buried under the jungle. The ruins of a civilization of about 15 million people are waiting to be uncovered. If you were lost in the jungle, would you wait to be rescued? Or would you try to find your way back to civilization? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 6. The Olmec Heads The mysterious Olmec colossal heads were crafted by the pre-Maya civilization known as the Olmec. Each head is positively huge, with the biggest being over 11 feet tall and weighing 50 tons. Each one is distinctive because it's a representation of an important person in Olmec society. They were likely local rulers or great priests, maybe even kings. The first one was discovered hiding in the jungles of Tres Zapotes in Mexico in 1862. But it wasn't until 1938 that real interest in the Olmec stirred in the archaeological community. Since then, colossal heads have been found throughout Mexico and Guatemala. Unfortunately, many of the gigantic heads were taken out of the jungle to be put on display somewhere else. For that reason, dating them has been difficult. The oldest likely goes back about 3,000 years to 900 BC. The Olmec civilization blossomed starting around 1500 BC in what is now the Mexican state of Veracruz. They are considered the first truly advanced civilization that developed in Mesoamerica. Many researchers even believe the Olmec gradually transformed into the Maya and that their culture never really died. It merely evolved into something different. Whatever the case may be, the colossal heads they left behind are still some of the most incredible and mysterious relics found anywhere in the world. Number 5. Plane Full of Skeletons a teenager in the Philippines was hunting birds in the jungle when he came across the body of an aircraft. It happened in 2015, and the wreckage was nothing short of horrific. The fuselage was supposedly full of skeletons and had the Malaysian flag on it. Authorities believed it may have come from the missing flight MH370 that disappeared on March 8, 2014. It departed from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia with 227 passengers and 12 crew members. 
On its way to Beijing, the plane and its occupants vanished into thin air and have never been found. The fuselage, which is the main body of an airplane, was discovered in the coastal jungle in Tawi Tawi. The young man who made the grim discovery claimed that he found a skeleton sitting in the pilot seat and it was still wearing its flight equipment. There were other skeletons there as well, some wearing seat belts and some strewn around the wreckage. Because the teenager didn't have access to television or international news, he had no idea the significance of what he'd found. All he could do was go back to his village and tell others, and they spread the news to the authorities. What's really strange is that after the discovery was made and reported by just about every major news outlet, the story vanished. Authorities said they were going to investigate the skeleton-filled fuselage, but then we never heard anything else about it. Either it was just a made-up story or someone covered up a plane full of bodies. Number 4. Maya Ballplayers Two mysterious carvings have been found at the jungle ruins of Tipan Chen Uitz in Belize. The carvings appear to depict Maya ballplayers from about 1400 years ago. Researchers say the discovery of the carvings is bringing new insight into the violent and bloodthirsty games played by the Maya. It's not totally clear what the carvings are meant to depict. One of them shows a man wearing a heavy belt and holding a staff with streamers waving in the wind. Experts say this individual may have been a fan of the game. Hieroglyphics on the stone mention a ball with the span of nine hands. Nobody knows how big that is in Maya terms, but it seems to suggest the ball used in the sport was huge. The second panel appears to show a player in the middle of striking the ball with his left hand. The carvings were likely part of the front wall of an ancient stadium. There may have been dozens or even hundreds of these panels outside the stadium depicting players, fans, and other aspects of the game. But for archaeologists, the rules of the game are still a huge mystery. Evidence seems to suggest the game was played for two weeks between a pair of rival teams. Then, as a reward, the captain of the winning team was decapitated. The Maya may have believed it was a great honor to win a game and be sacrificed to the gods for your victory. If you wanted to stay alive, you had to play to lose. Number 3. Fossilized Tick Roughly 20 million years ago, a monkey was in the jungle of the Dominican Republic grooming one of its friends. The monkey picked tiny ticks out of its pal's fur. One of those ticks, after being flicked into obscurity by the monkey, landed in a piece of wet sap. Over time, that sap hardened and turned into solid amber. Then, millions of years later, the amber was picked up in a mine deep in the Cordillera Septentrional mountain range. The fossilized tick is now believed to be the only example of red blood cells from an ancient mammal preserved in amber. The tick gorged itself on blood from a monkey, then was trapped before the blood could be digested into a meal. Researchers not only identified the blood cells, but they also discovered pathogens living inside the cells. The preserved specimen revealed the presence of parasites in the tick's gut. Most of them appeared to belong to the order Pyroplasmida, a group of parasites that are still around today. The same kinds of parasites that infected the monkey still infect humans and cattle. In fact, these parasites and pathogens are known for causing flu-like symptoms in people, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. It makes you wonder what could happen if a 20-million-year-old pathogen like this were accidentally released into the modern human population. Number 2. Creepy Jungle Glowworms a very bizarre creature was discovered in the Peruvian jungle in 2014. It's kind of like a glowworm, and it's nothing short of creepy. Wildlife photographer Jeff Creamer was hiking through the Peruvian Amazon at night when he spotted bright points of light on the ground. It almost looked as if someone had left neon paint splashed on the jungle floor. But when Jeff got closer, he realized these were living creatures. The heads of bioluminescent larvae looked right back at him. But because Jeff isn't a biologist, all he could do was take some pictures and show them to some scientists. Jeff returned to the place where he found the glowing worms with a trio of entomologists. Sure enough, Jeff had found something remarkable. 
These larvae were glowing bright green in order to attract prey. The researchers knew this because of the way the larvae waited totally still with their jaws wide open. They were patiently waiting for creatures to get close enough. Then they would snap their jaws shut and feast on their prey. Although these critters look like worms, they are in fact beetle larvae. The only issue for scientists is trying to figure out what kind of beetle the glowing larvae will grow into. The scientists in Peru still have a lot of research to do. There are over 10,000 species of beetle in the family Elateridae, and 200 of them are able to glow in the dark. Number 1. The Mysterious Pyramids In 1976, one of NASA's satellites captured something strange while orbiting the planet. The Landsat satellite took a picture of some mysterious dots located in the jungles of southern Peru. These strange dots were photographed in the Madre de Dios region of the Amazon, or the Mother of God region. The dots appeared to be symmetrically placed structures, sort of like pyramids. There appeared to be eight of them divided into four rows of two. These quickly became known as the Pyramids of Paratuari, but since they were never photographed, nobody has ever been able to find them. It's not like researchers didn't try. The discovery excited the world of archaeology because the lost city of Paititi was believed to be in the same area as the pyramids. People began to whisper that the pyramids of a lost civilization were hiding in the rainforest, but they had been swallowed almost entirely by vegetation over thousands of years. A number of expeditions were carried out in order to uncover the pyramids, but all of them turned up nothing. Explorer Gregory Dyermenjian was one of the most fanatical believers in the pyramids. He undertook several expeditions between 1984 and 2011, and he found some pretty interesting stuff. He discovered mysterious petroglyphs in the jungle and the Inca remains of Mameria. He also uncovered paved roads, abandoned plazas, and other evidence of Inca occupation. But no pyramids. He finally admitted the pyramids spotted by the Landsat satellite were likely nothing but sandstone formations. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon for more videos. See you later. Bye.